Digi fans, and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now, in today's tutorial, we're going to be taking on the 200 word challenge. Now, why is he wearing his cycle helmet, I hear you ask? Well, all shall be revealed. First of all, if you're using a phone or a tablet, you can download the Adobe Spark apps individually. If you're using a browser, like on a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. Okay, so before we go on to our tutorial on how to use Adobe Spark page to do the 200 word challenge, I want you to watch this little video on bike helmets. I want you to watch it, absorb the information so that you can come up with your own opinions for the 200 word challenge using Adobe Spark page. Enjoy. Should cyclists be forced to wear helmets? If you fall off your bike and hit your head whilst wearing a helmet, the evidence shows the helmet will help protect you. Doctors see patients sustain skull fractures and unsurvivable brain injuries as a consequence of the head striking the ground without a helmet. Some argue that introducing helmet legislation would significantly reduce the proportion of individual cyclists that are killed on roads. However, research also indicates that forcing people to wear helmets would make cycling less appealing and probably reduce the amount of cycling. Evidence shows that the health benefits of cycling vastly outweigh the health risks. In the UK, there is one death for every 30 million miles cycled, making it about as safe as walking. As part of a healthy lifestyle, cycling can play a major role in preventing conditions such as heart disease, diabetes and cancer. Therefore, enforcing the use of helmets could still lead to an overall cost in public health if people are discouraged from cycling at all. In the Netherlands, almost nobody wears a helmet, but they have built safe bike lanes. Cycling is made even safer by reducing much of the motor traffic from towns and neighbourhoods. Local authorities could help to encourage more people to cycle by creating car-free zones in town centres or by offering free bicycle maintenance opportunities. Let's hear what you think. Do you think wearing a helmet while cycling should be made law? How might being forced to wear a helmet affect the popularity of cycling? Why is it important to keep active through walking and cycling as opposed to travelling everywhere by car? And how can towns and cities be designed to encourage more people to cycle? <laughs> Okay, so when creating your Spark page, you just go to spark.adobe.com or if you're using a phone or a tablet, you go to the Spark Post app. I'm just going to press the plus there and go down to web page. Now, the thing with the Spark page, it's just an endlessly scrolling page. So you can just go for miles and miles and miles, make it the longest web page in the world if you like. Uh, but I'm going to start off by adding a title uh, and I'm going to call it Cycle Helmets. Okay, and then my subtitle will be 200 word challenge okay nice now uh, i'm going to also add a background to this kind of like a header photo now you can upload your own photos if you like or connect to any one of these services but i'm going to show you the free photos uh what am i going to search for cycling okay great now there's all sorts of cool photos down here but the one that i really like for this header i think is going to be this one and the reason why I really like it is because you don't actually know whether the person is using a cycle helmet or not, which is kind of the point of this 200 word challenge. So you can scroll to start writing your story. And I'll just put a little intro, I think. Now, here is my response to the 200 word challenge on cycle helmets from Digidom. Oh, spell my name right, please. OK, cool. Now let me show you something. If I want, I can change this from I can change this from normal text to like header one, for example, header two. Uh, you can do other things like you can make sure it's centered. Uh, you can change it into a quote even if you like. And one of the things I'll also show you is that you can change the theme and look how this changes things. You keep an eye on the screen in the center. If I click that. Ah, 
everything's kind of changed. This is why I really like this Luca one because it has these uh, red lines which kind of go around things and makes things look cool. Uh, there we go, right there as well. Cool, here is my response to the 200 web challenge on cycle helmets. Uh, maybe I'll add a little bit. Um, this, um, if you'd like to have a go, click the button below. Oh, that rhymes. Cool. Right, now if I look at what I can do here, I can actually put in a button. So, uh, 200 word challenge. And then it's asking me for a URL. Now, this is the page with the uh, challenge on it. Here you can see the video that you watched before and all the different questions that you had. So if I paste that in there and I will also choose to center it, make sure the button's in the middle. Et voila, look at that. If somebody clicked that, it would take them through to the challenge and they can have a go just like you. Okay, so here's my response. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click split layouts. I'm going to do this whole thing using split layouts. And this is where you can have an image on one side and text on another. So I've written all of my text here. Look at it all. I've been very, very diligent and done it all. Look, all four questions. Uh, and I'm going to go here and click text. Now, what you'll see here is it separates it out for me. Because there was a line in between the question and the answer, it's quite handily se se separated it out for me. Now, I can... Uh, might, might change that to heading two. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and then on this side, well, look at what I've been writing here. I believe that wearing a helmet while cycling on the road should definitely be made law. So if I go here, and you can use cycling again here, possibly. And what I'm looking for, ooh, this is a cool one. And the reason why I've chosen this photo is because this person is cycling on the road and they are wearing a helmet. I think it's a, it's a, it's a lady. A lady cycling along on the road with a helmet, which is exactly what I think should happen. I think helmet should be, uh, it should be made law to wear a helmet while cycling on the road. Cool. So that's my first section. Um, oh yeah, let me uh, let me show you this as well. One of the things that you can do is I was looking at different videos on YouTube for some advice around people who've actually thought about whether cyclists should be forced to wear helmets, and I watched this video here. So I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to go back to my web page and look at what I can do here. Oh, maybe I'll put it in the middle, right? I can also put a video in there. So if I want to show people, well, this is where I got a lot of my information from. I can put in a YouTube, Vimeo, or Spark video link. Check that out. Isn't that cool? We've got the question, got a bit of research here, and then we've got my answer. Nice. Time to go on to uh, question number two. So if I click split layout again, what you'll see is, what it does automatically is we had the picture on the left on here, and now it's given me the options of the picture on the right. So if I go to get my question and the answer that I've written there, copy it, bring it across, add it in the text again, nice. Change this to heading two, I think that's quite cool. Uh, you can also do things like you can center it if that's what you wanna do as well. Um, initially, some people will not like being forced to wear a helmet, if you can see that there. And when I wrote that, I'm just trying to think, what am I going to use for my picture here on the right-hand side? When I wrote that, I was thinking of people like BMX riders. Often they don't wear helmets, so I'm going to just put BMX in. Look at here, but look at all the choices we've got. Oh, this one's cool. Check that out. Really cool. And these two aren't wearing helmets. I know not all BMX riders don't wear helmets, but these people certainly haven't. And let me also show you how to change the focal point. If I move the focal point up, like that you will actually see that we actually see this chap's head as well as keeping the girl in the shot as well i really like that so i've got my first section we've got the question a video and then some writing that i did and we've got the second i won't put a video in this just to mix it up a bit then we go to question and answer number three control and copy uh Go down here, another split layout. You'll see it puts the image on the left again, so it's always alternating every time. Add in my text, uh, and then I will change that to header two. Why is it important to keep active through walking and cycling as opposed to traveling everywhere by car? So when I go to find my photo here, now you might have a photo that you wanna use. So you can just click upload photo, and you can search for things on your computer if you like. But I haven't got any for this. I'm just gonna use the free photo 
and I'm going to go to car. Now you can choose all sorts of different things here. Ooh, I like that one. That's pretty cool. I like the lines on it. The lights are cool, aren't they? So cycling is a great form of exercise and really helps keep you fit. But you can't cycle everywhere all the time, especially really long distances. That's pretty tough. So sometimes you do have to use the car. Now I'm going to go on to my final one, my final question and answer. I'm going to copy that. Add in another split layout. Add in my text. Uh, change that to header two. Ooh, maybe I'll show you. Look, I could do it as a quote. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I think that makes it look nice, actually. Maybe I'll leave it for that. One. Uh, and I've said town or city centers should be car free so that pedestrians and cyclists can feel safe. So I'm going to copy that word pedestrians, go over to add an image. I'm still in my free photos. Click pedestrians. Now, which one do I want? Oh, there's lots of cool ones here. Oh, look at this one. Great. I really like this one because we've got a tram, which would be great in a city center. It's kind of um, not too fast. Everyone knows where it's going because it's on tracks. We've got a cyclist, we've got pedestrians, we've got someone on a scooter as well. That's a really cool photo. And I like that. I think that really works. Let me just show you again, because I've gone through my four questions now. Let me show you how to change the theme. If I changed it to something like, maybe something like Trek, everything changes. Like how it lets how it sets out the questions, for example, and the answers, and then when it's time to present, you can just well let me scroll to the top before I present. Okay, and what I really like about Spark Page is that it's it looks so beautiful when you present it. So here, you can scroll through it just using your you know your trackpad if you like, but also let me show you. You can use your left and right arrow, and it does this. So here's my header, one click. There's my intro, one click, there's my question number one, one click, question number two, question number three, and finish off with question number four. Nice. And I'll also show you um, again how to put a video in. So I'll click that video, which is about um, city centers becoming pedestrian friendly. And then I'll go in here, pop it in just so other people can see where I got my research from. Nice. When it's time to share, just click there, publish and share. And you can create a link just by clicking that button there. And there you have it. Copy that link. You can send it via Google Classrooms, put it on social, email it to people, send it to your friends, family, and anybody else who might want to see what you think about cycle helmets. Okay, well done on completing the 200 word challenge. Now it's over to you. I hope you enjoyed that, DigiFans. As always, please do share your work with me using the hashtag DigiDom or find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer, so I can share your work with a larger audience and congratulate you on completing the 200 word challenge. As always, if you want these videos before anybody else, you've got to subscribe. So subscribe and get it done with. Okay, that's it for this video. Where am I going to see you? Yes, in the next DigiDom video. Oh,